Last night, I came to the Stellar dashboard, and this was not loading at all. Uh, this over here said loading dot dot dot. It appeared that the network was down. Now, maybe just the dashboard was down and the network was fine, but uh, but also then this morning, so that was last night, it was down several hours. I could not get to it. I wanted to make this video, but I, um, well, and it was getting late. That wasn't the only reason. Actually, that would have been good for the video to catch it on film. But anyways, um, then I went to sleep in the morning. It was running. And then it. Then I saw this here was all yellow. And it said uh, network slow several times. And then it was down again. And while it was down, I went here to my account viewer and tried to log in with my secret key. And it would not go. It just clicked and wouldn't move. So again, it looked like the Stellar Network was down last night and this morning. Is that, you know, did that really happen? And if so, I mean, I guess we care. What, the question is why? What, what is going on? So, you know, I'm doing research here. I own Stellar. I was planning on buying more, but I wanted to do more research. And I don't know. Some of this research may slow down my buying here. Uh, so what I really wanted to see was transactions per day. So this is transactions and operations. I don't know the difference, but... Looking at uh, their transactions per day, so they had this big ramp here that peaked for two days right before the IBM deal. My guess is they were, because I saw in a press release that um, IBM did live transaction test, you know, to, you know, so I bet that was testing. So then we go over here to see, okay, what's the run rate of transactions in general without the IBM testing? Um, I was surprised to see it only looks like 5,000 a day. Now, this graph is very skewed because of our big days here. But let's just say it's 5,000 transactions per day. That puts Stellar in the camp of what I think is that every single cryptocurrency is under 10,000 per day. There's a few that are more. And this has led me to a new thought, which is, which I almost forgot. I got to write this down uh, or someone to remind me. You know, it would be interesting to look transactions per day. Uh, in relation to market cap for several cryptocurrencies, because this is look what I found. So what I was thinking here was, well, they have 5,000 per day. Well, what is Ethereum doing? Ethereum is up to 500,000 a day. So let's just say here. So the first question is, are we comparing apples to apples? These 5,000 transactions on this chart is that equal, sorry, th these 500,000 transactions per day, are those equal to these 5,000 transactions per day? In other words, not the, the number, I know 500 is not the same as five, but the, the type of activity, what we're measuring, what is the definition of transaction? Is it the same for both of these? So let's just assume it is. So that would mean, and then the other thing is a very uh, important metric on valuing, um, a uh, platform is how many transactions is it having per day so if we're going to value it just on that which is another leap of faith but if we are so stellar has 5,000 transactions per day ethereum has 500,000 transactions per day that's a hundred times more so maybe we should expect its market cap to be a hundred times more but in fact ethereum's market cap is 28 billion uh Stellar's market cap, I believe, I, you know, I was going to do it off the top of my head. I was going to say 500, but let's just make sure that I'm right. Uh, let's see. 565. So, so, okay, so if Stellar's market cap is 565, 100 times more than that would be 56 billion. So Ethereum's market cap at, it was 29, you know, was much lower than 50 billion, 29 billion instead of 50. So, you know, what, what happens here, what has happened here is what seems to happen so much. All, uh, this is why I say all roads lead to Ethereum. I'm trying to research Stellar. I'm digging into things about Stellar. I'm doing some comparisons and I come up with yet another statistic that tells me that Ethereum is a good buy. So, you know, instead of buying more Stellar now, I'm apt more likely to buy a little more Ethereum. And look at this. 
um, I, you know, on that same topic, you know, can, can anybody's transactions to market cap ratio compare to Ethereum? If so, show me. I want to see that. Um, so now if we look at this for all time, look at this graph here. Look at Ethereum shoot through, and now it's sort of, you know, it looks like it's close. But keep in mind, right here, this is 500. And we've been going, like, it's, it, like, it feels like they're at 500. It can easily, if it goes to 700, we're looking at up here and then off to the side. I think people are going to look at this and go, wow, Ethereum is breaking out. So I watch transactions per day every morning, and I'd like to get it for all uh, crypto coins. So let's. If anyone has any research on that, let me know. Now, so that was a sort of a negative for Stellar. I did find this also, which is interesting. Um, so first of all, it's on Reddit, which I do not trust as a trusted source, but the things they mentioned, I looked up and looked correct. So at the bottom line is there's a CLS group, which is responsible for 50% of all cross-border payments. So they were a big processing company who is working with IBM and IBM is working with Stellar so the, the, the you know the idea so CLS does 800 uh, thousand transactions per day. So what so what does that mean? So if if CLS does 800 thousand transactions per day, and they work with IBM, and IBM works with Stellar, then that means tomorrow there's going to be 800 thousand new transactions on Stellar. It does not mean that. It means that uh, maybe, you know, st that there are transactions out there that they're all in the same room. IBM, CLS, and Stellar, they're all in the same room working on a similar project. So maybe they do get there. But if so, when? Time is money. I want to see my transaction charts shooting up and to the right. Um, so, yeah. If anyone has any more info, you know, if you know somebody like who works at IBM, you know, the guy who knows the guy say, Hey, check out this video. What do you, what do you think? All right. Um, was there anything else I wanted to mention here? No. All right. Well, keep me posted and, um, keep, keep checking the dashboard. Are they up or down? Thank you.